So here we have got the paragraph, analytical paragraph to be discussed today. So what is analytical paragraph? What's the purpose of analysis? The purpose of analysis is to point out the things when we look at some data, when we look at some chart, or when some survey is given, then how we analyze that uh, you know data or findings. So when you look, when we look at those findings critically to come to a conclusion that is analysis, and that is what the analytical paragraph is about. Okay. So the the very first thing which you must keep in mind is. Like you can write a analytical paragraph only when you have some data with you, with you, only when you've got some findings or some surveys results with you, only then you can write something critically upon it. Okay, so let's see. So useful tips for writing an analytical paragraph. But before we see what are the useful tips for writing it, let me show you like what kind of analytical paragraph is. Some examples are there. Uh, so analytical paragraph example, question one is there, below is a graph given showing birth and death rates in a country from 1901 to 2101. So here is a graph showing the birth and death rate of a country and the years are also mentioned 1901 to 2101. So what we have to do then after we observe this data, this graph, we'll be writing an analytical paragraph in about 150 words. First of all, you see like this axis downwards, these are the years and here the rate is given, birth and death rate, right? Birth rate is shown through the dark line and death rate is shown through the light line. Okay, in 1901, where was, a, where was the line of death? It was here and in uh, of birth, it was here. So birth rate had always been more than death rate, except in the year 2041. So there might have something, something might have happened in 2041, where the, uh, you know, death and birth rate were almost equal. And after from 2041 to this death rate had been more than the birth rate. Okay, so at this point, it was same. But after this, it, the death rate was more. So what happened during this time? Okay, we'll see. So see what is analytical paragraph, then afterwards we'll be discussing like what points must be kept in mind for writing an analytical paragraph. The graph shows birth and death rates starting from 1901 till this. Okay, so first line, what does the graph show? We don't have to write a philosophy on uh, like death is imminent, death will come when it has to come, you cannot escape death. So those kinds of things are not to be written in analytical paragraph. In, the, in this kind of analysis, you know, you have to, we have to describe this graph. That's it. Because analytical paragraph is factual. It's a factual description. Factual description means something which is based upon fact, not our philosophy. Okay, so first line should be the graph shows, the, uh, the data shows, the survey shows, whatever. So whatever that thing is, it shows. So whatever the overall title is, birth and death rate starting from this to this. Very important line when your very first line is clear, we call it theme sentence, you get two marks out of five. Got it? Uh, since 1901, the birth rate has remained more than the death rate until 2041. So they have also observed the same thing, like until this year, the birth rate had been more than death rate. Since 1901, the birth rate has remained more than the death rate until this year. So mention the years clearly. Birth rate was this much. 20,000 in 1901. Yeah, more important thing is you have to read the graph very carefully, birth and death rate in thousands. Okay. So when it is 20, it means it is 20,000. Okay. Birth rate is shown as 20. It is at 20. It means it is 20,000. Okay. And if it is a death rate is at this point, we can say 8,000 or 9,000. Let's see. 
Since this, the birth rate has remained more than the death rate. Birth rate was 20,000 in 1901 and started increasing gradually. It peaked in 1961. It peaked means the highest point of the birth rate was 1961, this side. Okay, you have to see this. It peaked in the culminating point of the birth rate was 1961. Birth rate has fluctuated multiple times between 50,000 and 60,000. So see the kind of line. It's not that you flatly keep on explaining the same thing. So uh, it peaked in this year, right? Afterwards, he picks up the next point. Like from 1961, birth rate has fluctuated. What is fluctuation? Coming up and down. So birth rate has fluctuated from 1960. Uh, 2061, 1961 onwards. See this fluctuation in 1961 here, then here, then again here, then coming down, then going up. So it has been fluctuating. Uh, then it is expected to decline for the coming years, reaching approximately 42,000 by to this. So even you can say like uh, what is expected in the near future. Okay. On the other hand, so in this very one paragraph, we can talk about just one thing. So here the writer talked about only birth rate. You could have also compared the birth rate and death rate side by side also. That is your wish. That is the way you are comfortable with. On the other hand, see the expression on the other hand. Very important. We call these kinds of things as linkers. On the other hand, death rate stood at this much in 1901, then has increased steadily. Why the word writer has used the words steadily? Because there is not much increase. So it is going up steadily. It is going up only, it's not going down. Okay, so but in the birth rate, the line is not steady. It's sometimes going up, down. So there is no steadiness, but in the death rate, there is some steadiness is there. It is expected to rise strikingly from this before leveling off to approximately 60,000 between 2061 and 2081. Got it? Leveling is balancing. So uh, it is expected to rise strikingly from 2021. So it is rising from 2021. Where is 2021? Yeah. Yes, it is rising upward from here. Okay. So the, from here, it has started rising properly. The graph indicates a slight decline in deaths in the year this. So we have been talking about increase, but here it is a decline. What you are to be very careful about is you are not to mention the reasons for the decline in death rate or the reason of increase in birth rate, mind it. The most important thing, it is where where children commit the mistake. Unless and until the things are mentioned in the graph or in the data, you don't have to mention the reason or something from your side. The graph shows the huge gap between birth rate and death rate during this to this, okay? However, this gap is expected to reduce in the later years. Overall, as opposed to the prevailing trends, the death rate will be more than birth rate in the later half of the 21st century. Got it? So in the later, in the 21st century, death rate will be more than the birth rate. So this is what the lines are showing. So now we, what we can predict is, like it is going to be, death rate is going to be more than the birth rate in the coming century, in the coming years. So in this, you know, description, it's all about what the graph says. Nothing is about what the writer has to say. Most important thing, don't add any points from your side. Now let's read one more point paragraph, then we'll see the instructions part. So the chart shows the division of household task by gender in Great Britain. Write an analytical paragraph describing the chart given in not more than 200 words. So division of household tasks by the gender in Great Britain. So here are the descriptions. 
Mm. Okay. So cooking, baking and all. Okay. Males are shown in red color and uh, females are shown in blue color. Got it? So these many men, you know, do cooking in Great Britain. What is written over here? Yes. Per person. Okay, minutes per person. So that's it time. So this line shows a, this line shows a time and this line shows a um, people, either men or women, like how many men are doing for how much time they are doing. See this graph, each, most of, uh, here also men are less in cooking, here also men are less, only here men are more than women, right? And here only women are doing. So this uh, which work is it? Clothing, uh, clothes washing, ironing and sewing. It's only done by women. Okay, which work is it done only by men? That is uh, gardening or pet care. That is uh, done by men only. So women only, most of the women do cleaning, house, tidying and all. And here also men are more. What is this? Maintenance, uh, odd jobs. Okay, let's see now. The chart shows the number of minutes per day spent by British men and women in doing household tasks. Again, see the first line. I told you like first line happens to be for two marks or sometimes three marks even. The line, the chart, because it was chart over here, it was not the graph. The chart shows the number of minutes per day spent by British men and women in doing household tasks. On an average, the women spent about four hours doing household tasks, whereas the men spent less than two and a half hours. So this is theme sentence on an average. In the very beginning, after you have described like what this graph is about, in one sentence, mention overall the, uh, mention in nutshell what this overall uh, data is about. So on an average, the women spend about four hours doing household tasks, whereas men spent less than two and a half hours. At an average, women spend two, four hours and men spend about two and a half hours upon the household tasks. Okay, average, I guess you all understand. Like uh, at an average, women spend more time than the men in household tasks. Clear? Now, the tasks on which women spend more time than men include cooking, cleaning house, taking care of the children and laundry. Yes, you can change a few words. You can use your vocabulary. So where washing clothes was meant, so you could use laundry. Okay, so uh, care of own children and play. So the tasks on which men spent more time than men. So children, comparative study is very important in the analytical paragraph. If you won't compare, then you will be losing marks. Okay, you can compare uh, the things in different paragraphs or you can compare them side by side as I told you earlier also. So point is not like what is written. The point is like how the writer is, you know, talking about the variety in the analytical paragraph. The tasks on which women spend more time than men includes this, this, this and this. In doing all these tasks, women spent approximately 20, sorry, 200 minutes, which is almost three times the sp time spent by men in these tasks. Now see, this line where the writer is saying, like in doing all these tasks, women spend approximately 200 minutes. From where has the writer taken 200 minutes? So here you have to calculate also. So you add uh, 70 minutes here, then 70 plus 60 plus this. You add like you'll come to know that the uh, that these blue lines, you know, they will go up somewhere 200. So that he has written. So in doing all these tasks, women spend about 200 minutes, which is almost three times the time spent by men. So the writer has added the hours or the minutes, total minutes spent by women and total minutes spent by men. And then the writer is not writing like uh, men spend this much, these many minutes and women spend these many minutes. He has written 
about women time, uh, minutes and about the men uh, the writer is saying that they spend three times more or three times less so these kinds of language matters on the other hand men spend twice the time than women in doing tasks like gardening and maintenance of odd jobs in the house men spend the highest time almost 50 minutes in gardening and pet care while the women spend only 30 minutes for these tasks the time spent by men in washing ironing sewing clothes is as low as 2 minutes per day as opposed to 25 minutes spent by women so in short women spend far more time doing household chores than men whilst men prefer to do gardening pet care and maintaining odd jobs so this is analytical paragraph with all study comparative study of the graph or data given okay so now read um, now let's read one more the pie chart shows the proportions of people from different household living in poverty in the uk in 20 in 2002 so what will you see in this you know first of all it's a pie chart what does it show it shows the proportion of people from different households living in poverty in the uk so this will be your first line itself then the second line will be like what you see over here how you talk about it in crux So write an analytical paragraph to describe the information in about one twenty words. Proportion of people from each household type living in poverty. So blue line is for single aged persons. This uh, uh, this colored box, red colored box is for aged people, single without children. This green couple without children. This kind of you know. Then sole parents blue. couple with children all households okay now let's see the given pie chart illustrates seven different categories of households living in poverty in the uk in this year it is clearly evident from the pie chart that 26% of the total poverty stricken households are those of sole parents so the writer has concluded he has calculated he has observed like 26% of the total poverty stricken uh, families are the sole parents sole parents means only parents where there are no children with them where two means mother father both are there but so 25% of them you know they are poverty stricken see the see one you know observation from of the writer right single people without children account for the second highest proportion with 24% so this is the green one 24% this is single without children they account for single people without children account for see the language account for the second highest portion with 24% in contrast to couples without children that account for just 9% couples with children account for 15% of the poor households single aged persons and sing, and aged couples proportion for 12% together for poor households overall 14% of all households in the uk were living under poverty the younger generation had a greater poor percentage than their aged counterparts see the conclusion the younger generation had a greater poor percentage than their aged counterparts couples without children had better economic conditions with those with children so these are the overall conclusions of the graph or or the chart is that clear now here is another uh, you know kind the following table shows details about the internet activities for six categories for different age groups write an analytical paragraph for the table given in around 150 words so these are the internet activities for six categories got it teens news 76 online games 81 uh, downloads 52 product research 0 buying a product 43 searching for people 5 okay 20s the people those who are in 20s 
so uh, what do they do maximum uh, news they watch news for 73% of them you know they go for news so similarly you can read this the people those who are above 70 news 70% of the time they spend in reading news online games 32 okay six six people download 70 for product research 41 for buying a product and 27 for searching for people okay now given table suggests the internet activities of seven age groups so overall these were seven age groups one two three four five six seven so seven age groups the given table suggests the internet activities of seven age groups ranging from teens to those in their 70s for six different kinds of activities. So six activities are there and seven categories of age groups. So the given timetable suggests the, so given table suggests that internet activities of seven age groups ranging from teens to those in their 70s for six different kinds of activities. The table shows that the young generation is more interested in online games and news while the older generation spends more time on internet through research and byproducts. It is evident from the table that teens mainly use the internet for games as high as 81%. I guess you all will agree. Uh, news and uh, downloads and are interested in searching for people or friends or doing any product researches. The middle age groups, people in the 20s to 60s is highly highly interested in getting news, doing product research and buying products. I guess that is also right. The percentage ranging from 70 to 80%. The internet activity which gets the least time is searching for people. People don't search for people much. All the age groups spend less than 30% of their internet time on the same. The amount of time spent on downloads decreases with age. So the people, those who download the maximum material happens to be, I guess, the youngsters. They keep on downloading the new apps. So with age, this trend decreases and gets as low as 6% for people in 70s. So overall, the table suggests that teenagers are most likely to spend time playing games and doing downloads. On the other side, older people are interested in researching and buying products. People spend the least time uh, searching for the people out online. Got it? So there is a, there are more examples. Uh, I'll, uh, you can see like which site is it? Success CDS.net. You can also uh, open up on your own and you can go through all these examples. And I'll be sending you one homework, uh, which you'll be doing on your own. You won't get its answer anywhere. Okay, you can do all these and uh, do them seriously. The purpose is not to cram them. The purpose is not to like learn the only thing is that you get an idea like how the writer is writing. So you do the calculations first, you do the observations first, then only you read. You'll come to know like where you stand, right? So do the self-practice of these examples. How many more examples are there yet? So we have got fifth exam question yet, sixth. Two more only are left. Okay, so do them on your own. And do these six examples and afterwards do any one on your fair notebook from here. Okay, you just copy the graph or uh, um, chart and later on you write it on your own. Is that clear? Clear or not? Your homework is write any one graph, write any one question from this page in your fair notebook on your own as a practice. Is that clear? If yes, raise hand. Hmm. Okay. 12 participants have raised hands. What about others? 13, 14, okay, 15 now. Okay, this work is meant for all. Please do any one, okay? Okay, have a nice day.